Good to keep you, Ontario. And uh, today I'm uh, very pleased to be joined by uh, Paul Moist, the national president of CUPE. And to my left, Jean Fox, the president of Local 543. And to uh, Paul's right, um, Jim Wood, the president of Local 82. Um, Paul and I have uh, come into uh, Windsor today to essentially um, show our support and uh, to talk to the locals both on the picket lines and, and the leadership of both the uh, 543 and 82. Um, with respect to the outpouring of support that we received um, on their behalf uh, just last week, we needed to uh, share this um, information with the locals uh, in order to um, and give them a sense of the kind of support that they're getting from across Ontario. We, um, we had uh, tremendous support on the floor of a convention that actually the delegates, uh, we had to hold them back. They wanted to adjourn the convention and get on the buses and come down to Windsor. Um, we only opened the conference up at the convention on the, on the Wednesday night. And on the Thursday morning, we had this motion on the floor ready to uh, close down the convention to come down to, to Windsor. Um, they wanted to be on the picket lines with the, uh, with the membership here. Um, so we obviously talked them out of that because we wanted to be able to do the business of our union. But uh, they then proceeded uh, to raise over a quarter of a million dollars um, on the floor from different locals across the province. Uh, this was the uh, most amount of money ever raised um, at a QP event um, for a striking local. Um, our locals for this matter in this case. So, um, so we're here today to basically, um, you know, to say to the locals and here on, in Windsor that you've got the total and absolute support of the CUPE National Organization, CUPE Ontario, um, and all of the locals across the province. Uh, I've never seen so much uh, unanimity on, on an issue as I did around the Windsor strike. People are feeling this in a, in a very personal way across the province. And uh, we need uh, our own members here in Windsor to, to recognize that, um, that there is tremendous support out there and, um, and that the membership want to mobilize, um, you know, in the very near future, they've decided that they want to do something in addition to raising the money. The one message I want to, uh, to leave from my little presentation before I pass you over to, uh, to Paul, and that is basically to say that um, if Eddie Francis thinks that he is going to starve the CUPE membership in this city into submission, uh, he better think twice. 